So this is the Green Living Project mobile tour and it's actually part of the Soul Trucker organization. So we take this RV around to like 150 schools a year and we teach kids about the sustainability projects from around the world and then they get the chance to come out, check out the RV, see the solar panels and the biodiesel engine and then we can kind of talk about some of the components that they can get their hands involved with. Okay. And so uh, what are some of the interesting aspects of, uh, of the vehicle that you've got here you might be able to show us? Uh, the biggest thing is probably the, the solar panels. You know, having solar power technology for kids is a really important thing to be teaching them. You know, you get into some of these inner city areas and they haven't seen solar panels before. Um, and then you get out into some of the country areas and they might not have heard of, you know, composting toilets. So you kind of get all these components. So those, that one there is solar power, composting toilets, really big. It's also got water catchment systems so we can teach the kids about what some of the water resource issues are around the world and then teach them here's how we can capture our own water for our mm -hmm. gardens for our gray water use for washing um, and then another big one is like the countertop made out of like recycled curved glass recycling so kids think that just because it goes into recycling bins that that is the end of the problem but really it takes a lot more energy to recycle than we think it does so getting them to realize that we can reuse those products in other ways um, is a big part of the tour too and then like all the paint like all this paints all bio paint made out of plants um, and that's really important just teaching the kids about the chemical components of everything that we use all the plastic and all the vinyl and you know how many kids don't know what off-gassing is from different furniture and carpets and just getting them to look at it on that molecular level is pretty interesting Okay, and what what are some of the challenges of living in a in a small vehicle? Uh, probably the biggest challenge is just making sure you've got a safe place to park when you're traveling. Um, I think that pretty self-contained as far as being able to find biodiesel now in the country is not a big deal. You know, I don't have a, have a problem with the solar at all, even when it's cloudy, it's not a problem. Um, but just being yeah, being safe as you travel. People see a vehicle that's all decked out and they want to mess with it. And and how big of a vehicle is it? It's 26 feet, yeah, total, and and that kind of gives us enough range where I can have like private room in the back for like my bedroom and my guitars and stuff, and then the kids can be up here when I go to shows. And I don't have a bunch of high schoolers running through my stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what? Uh, so if people want to learn more about it, how would they get a hold of it? They can go to our Facebook page, which is just facebook.com/greenlivingproject, or they can go to our website, which is greenlivingproject.com. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you. Thanks.